<laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, uh, babe, you look great today. You know, we've been together for 28 years, and it just, it still feels like the first day I met you. I just, I've never loved you more. I love you more each passing day. And I don't know, I'm just, I'm thrilled that I get to spend the rest of my life with you. Uh, thanks for being a part of my life. Whoa, what's that? Oh my God. It's a copy of Fast Reaches and Plain by Majesties on 20 bucks spin on LP. These are the riffs I've been dreaming of. Oh my gosh. Hey, you're gonna have to find your own ride home. We're gonna go make sweet love. See ya. Hello, heavy metallurgists. My name is Brain Smasher, legal title. I am here with an album review for you today, and we are going to be diving into the new full length, Vast Reaches Unclaimed from Minnesota's Majesties. This album is already out on 20 Bucks Spin, so you can pick this up. You're going to want to pick this up on all formats at the link down below in the description. Sometimes reviews are kind of hard for me because I... I get into this mode where I feel like this certain albums that I fall in love with are so great that I assume that everyone knows about it and that everyone who has had a chance to even find out about it has checked it out and fallen in love with it like I have. So the unfortunate thing is that that isn't always the case. And so if there are any of you who have not heard this um, and have not checked it out or waiting for a reason to check it out, Hopefully I can describe to you the reasons that I love this album so that you find a reason to check it out and love it as much as I do. Um, this project began as a, just kind of an idea in the back of the guitar players' heads uh, when they were playing in Obsequiae. Um, these all members are, well, Tanner's in Obsequiae and the others are live members, uh, but they're all a, a, just a great friendship of... Uh, metal musicians from Minnesota. So they've been working on these songs for the greater part of like six years. Um, and so it's so great to finally see the album come to fruition. Um, and really the, the, the album was basically written, fully written um, several years ago. So it's been kind of, it's been through a process of kind of being perfected over the last couple of years by some people who are insanely talented at playing, writing, producing their own work and making masterpieces that just sound brilliant. Now, so the first thing off of the cuff of this album that a lot of people should notice is that there are specific references to melodic death metal of the mid to late 90s, especially those of the No Fashion Records ilk. As you'll see, there's a 20 buck spin logo fashioned to look like the, uh, the old No Fashion logo, which is just near and dear to my heart as well as these guys. So they're definitely drawing on some influences from your In Flames, your Dark Tranquilities, uh, a little more obscure things like Ophthalamia, Varathrin, stuff like that. But it's, you don't need to have those references or part of your DNA to love this. This is just so fierce and so satisfyingly melodic and powerful. It's driven by uh, just incredibly intricate and powerful and interesting drum patterns that just drive the immensely crunchy melodic tones through each and every song. And on top of all that is just some of it's one of the greatest vocal performances I've heard in metal in the ugh, several years, many, many years. I, the, a new bar has been raised in how <laughs> painful I think and anguished and impassioned a vocalist can sound while singing over melodic death metal. Tanner 
has just really outdone himself vocally for this album. And if that's the only reason you need to hear this album, that's reason enough. So the songs are really poetic. The lyrics are kind of positive in a way, in the way that uh, kind of In Flames always had this kind of... Well, what set In Flames apart, I guess, from a lot of their country mates is that they had this sort of like sunny disposition to some of their riffs and they had this sort of happiness to um, the way that they wrote some of their riffs. Um, and that is definitely a characteristic that uh, these guys have um, kind of deconstructed and found the alchemy that makes that reference so specific and so identifiable the second you put this album on. Um, so if there's a part of your DNA that yearns and pines for the long gone days of yesteryear of 1996 when In Flames was good, and I'll tell you what, I checked in on that newest In Flames album, people are saying, it's back to being the good old... <laughs> you're all kidding yourselves. Um, if in <laughs> This is what you're looking for if old In Flames is what you need to uh, fulfill your life again. So there's some really intricate bass work also that just kind of give these songs and these guitar riffs just a really elevated power because I, I can't tell you enough. The, the crunchiness is of the guitar riffs is so satisfying when you hear it played playing the, some of the sweetest harmonies and most intricate and delicate um, harmonies a guitar has ever written. Uh, these guys are just masters of their work. The album has 10 songs on it and they're all terrific. And what I actually really like about it is it starts off with, with the same references that I've been talking about, like In Flames and things. And they're real kind of, I guess maybe just a tad more like radio friendly versions of what they're doing. Um, they've got real stompy parts, songs that make you want to bang on your steering wheel when you're driving if these songs were playing. They've got some real, I guess, some more simplistic rhythmic ideas going on that are just ultra crunchy, headbanging kind of things. Like, it, it makes me wish I had long hair on my head to swirl my hair around to these riffs. It's, oh. um, so then as you progress through the album, like, the third track, the vocals on that song are... <sighs> I, I, uh, <laughs> uh, it's, I'm lucky that I'm friends with Tanner Anderson because I could not possibly picture a human being screaming in such an anguished way that I'm hearing on this album. I couldn't picture it. It's in fucking human. And were it anyone other than Tanner Anderson, I would think it was fake or, you know, made up in somehow AI vocals or something. Um, it is absolutely unbelievable and i'm not just blowing smoke up tanner's rabbit nostril uh it is unbelievable um so as the album progresses like i was saying the songs get a little different and i i love how there's just not like 10 songs of the same thing toward the end of the album the songs get a little bit more dark i think and um the style that they're going for is maybe a little bit less flashy with the soloing and the harmonies um, just really, really well-crafted riffs and um, just not quite as much like energy towards the end of the album. Um, and I, I like how there's kind of a gradient going from the happy kind of sunny disposition in the beginning to a more like sorrowful kind of uh, contemplative, introspective sort of uh, style. It's funny that I can like assign such emotion to such riffs, but that's definitely testament to the fact that these riffs that these guys have written are... Chef's goddamn kiss. The drums on this album were, I believe, written on the Superior... Well, okay, so this band has had a couple of real drummers throughout the years as these songs were crafted. And so the riffs were written with real drummers um, in the studio while they were writing these songs. However, on the album, Superior Drummer was utilized and they took those parts, entered them into Superior Drummer, which, like, I have never met a more masterful user of the Superior Drummer app program than Tanner. He 
writes obsequiized songs using that software to write out the most incredible drum patterns and then writes guitar riffs over those. And so he is such a talented master at both playing drums for real and like transcribing those songs into Superior Drummer and just making them flourish and be what they needed them to be for this album to be wholly amazing. So some people are maybe a little bit, I guess, taken aback by the fact that there isn't a real drummer on this, but I think it's super impressive what these guys can do um, with a program like Superior Drummer. It It's like there's so many real drummers out there now that are going for just a super clinical kind of boring sound that I feel like a a more... I guess mathematic or technological sound to the drums is definitely fine by me. If the writing of the drums is incredible, which it is on this thing. Um, it's, it's not something I'm worried about whatsoever. I, I think this, the drumming on this is just incredible. That's like the only negative thing that I've been hearing people say about this album. If you are a already an obsequii fan or like you've heard obsequii and you're not kind of sure, uh, I don't know what's wrong with you, but like, you're not crazy about Obsequia. I believe this is maybe a little bit more of a, uh, a palatable entry point for you in the melodic death metal kind of world. Um, and like I said, if you don't have those references of the late 90s, like your Ophthalamias and In Flames and your Dark Tranquilities, then it's fine. This is instantly lovable for being like if you love guitar melodies and harmonies and crunchy riffs and some of the most powerful screaming you'll ever hear on a metal record this has it all there for you in spades also a little bit of trivia uh jonathan p kerr of noltem and pirate fame uh has joined the ranks of majesties on the drums so going forward Gonna be playing live with them if that winds up happening. Hopefully, really hope so. Uh, and also, I guess writing new material with these guys as well. So that's something to look forward to. So that's all I have for you today. You should be fully 100% convinced that this album deserves its place in your collection if you are a cool person, like I am. Uh, but if you don't believe me, you can take other people's word for it. The album is getting rave reviews from tons of reputable, smart, brilliant human beings. You don't want to be left out, right? Pick this up ASAP. My name is Brain Smasher once again. And if you like me, you can have more of me by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Right down below, below there is a link for you to do so. And we hope to see you over there. If not, we'll see you next time on my Heavy Metallurgy Reviews. Bye-bye.